it's Ashton. And it is John. What is up, guys? We are back with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be watching... Five of the weirdest, creepiest Pokemon Go encounters by the channel Mr. Nightmare. The link is down in the description, so yes. if you enjoy the video, make sure you go and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Very important to support the channels that you love. Suggestion from Grantee's Notes. Grant, thank you so much for the support. Do appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> remember that one guy in Rochester? We, we ran, ran into this guy, and we did play Pokemon Go quite a bit back in the day. And we were like level 32 or something. And he's like, yeah, I don't play much, you know, just every once in a while. And he was like level 40-something. No, I think we were level 42, and he was like... Oh, he's a couple out of us, He though. was like 47 or something. Yeah, and we were playing it like constantly. So this dude, in those seven levels were like pretty much just as hard to get as the original 40. And he had like nine or ten Dragon Knights, and this is only a couple months after it came out. And I'm thinking, this dude's fucking crazy. You only play sometimes? You living on this game. God damn, you don't need a lie to kick it. But anyway, guys, uh, Grant, thank you so much for the support. You guys can also help support the channel if you want to. If you click on that link down below in the description, I'm going to throw it on through Streamlabs and let you pick one of the next videos that we react to. Just keep it under ten minutes. Include the video's link title, your email, and let's see what this video is all about. Ready? With everyone playing Pokemon Go, the game that actually forces you to get outside and walk around to find Pokemon in pretty much the world's biggest scavenger hunt, the app is creating a lot of laughs, whether they be from pictures of Pokemon in some pretty funny locations or videos of angry player reactions. However, with so many people suddenly exploring places they never would have otherwise, some are finding things they weren't supposed to find, or perhaps getting into situations they don't want to be in. Finding dead bodies and stuff. Number one, a story just about everybody's heard about by now is 19-year-old Shayla Wiggins from Wyoming finding a dead body. Shayla one. was told to find a Pokemon in a natural water source, but instead found a man's corpse. She was walking towards a bridge along the shore when she saw something in the water, and after taking a second look, she realized it was a body. Shayla is currently living in a trailer park for the summer with her mother, and in said trailer park, Shayla hopped a fence to get to the Pokemon shown on her map. The body was found in the Big Wind River. However, there didn't appear to be any foul play involved and was ruled accidental, likely a drowning. Damn. The sheriff's That's department crazy. is still currently looking into it, but as of right now, the actual story behind the death remains unknown. Shayla, of course, did not catch the Pokemon. Number 2. Didn't even get the goddamn Pokemon. Another player of the game shared his experience on Reddit. The 32-year-old man explained how he found himself hunting for Pokemon for the first time at 4 in the morning walking home from work after working the night shift, and later encountered about five sketchy-looking men from his own words on his late-night stroll. The man told Reddit of the little park that he must pass on his way home every night. The park had two Pokestops and a gym, so he decided to walk through the park this one time just to see exactly what the stops were for and what they did. Somewhere through the park, however, the man ran into a group of five younger guys, three black, two white. They all looked as though they were in the middle of a drug deal. One of the guys called him over, to which he just ignored them. They started to follow him, and before he could even decide to run away or not, the sound of two police cars quickly pulling up on the road alongside the park froze everyone in their spots. Damn. The group was reported by an anonymous resident for a potential drug deal, which actually turned out to be the case. God damn. The man, though questioned, was let go shortly <clears throat> after. Number three. Yeah, that sounded pretty sketchy. To the Pokemon Company's dismay, many players, or trainers as they refer to them, have been victims of robbery. In fact, different YouTubers have actually posted video footage of themselves getting robbed while playing the game. I for don't example, that. YouTuber Aiden's Life. And that's when I found this. Hey. Yo. Can you do me a favor? Yo, what's up? Can you put your shit in this bag real quick for me? <laughs> what? No, like straight up, we're gonna have a problem. Whoa, what the fuck? Put it in the bag. Are you serious? Straight up. I don't believe it. I don't believe it either. Yeah. How did he get his camera back? He put it in the bag. Right. Seeing something like this happen to someone so unsuspecting is... It's YouTube. Everything... Uh, yeah. I don't know. You can't believe everything. Scary. And something like this has apparently been happening every day. 
One of the bigger cases so far was the story of a group of armed robbers apparently targeting victims using the game who had done so successfully up to eight times. The group of four teenagers were apprehended by police in O'Fallon, Missouri on Sunday after allegedly robbing a 33-year-old man. Most of you know the app contains Pokestops, which are randomly placed on notable locations and towns where players can earn points, Pokeballs, and make purchases. The yeah, player right. has to actually walk to that location to earn the points, which are available to all players. Or drive slow. The game also features a lore module, which attracts Pokemon to a specific Pokestop. This invites other players to come to the location and collect Pokemon as well. This is exactly how these four teenagers lured unsuspecting players, mostly kids, to this specific location where they robbed them. One of the victims shared his experience, explaining he was simply walking to a Pokestop in the night, when three guys came out from behind a parked van with a handgun demanding money. Damn. Two of the robbers from were 18 years like... old, one 17, and another 16. What are you gonna get from a kid? Why would you, you know These what I mean? Like, fucked up, yeah. Assuming, not everybody that plays Pokemon Go, but a lot of people that play Pokemon Go, I mean, they're, they're mostly a lot of children. What are they gonna have to offer you? Oh, I have Phones, a Twinkie in my it. backpack. Mom gave me a fruit roll-up. Fruit roll-ups? Put it in the bag, kid. The 16-year-old is the only robber not being charged as an adult. Number four. More than one dead body has already been what? found by Pokemon Go players, not even two weeks after release. Three women playing the game found a dead body on Thursday the 14th near a creek bed in the San Diego park. The three women were walking on a trail while hunting for Pokemon at about 3 p.m. in Marion Bear Memorial Park when they stumbled into the body of a man who had been dead for quite some time. One of the women had apparently picked up on a very pungent and foul odor, and that's when they noticed the body laying in a patch of bushes near the bed. I froze, stopped in my tracks, turned away from the body, and I had looked at my friend Amanda in the face, I looked my sister in the face, you and I said, both in the face. I think I just found a dead body. I looked down and I saw the legs, the bones of a dead body with no feet, no ankles, no shoes, no shoes, nothing. It had looked like he'd been chewed. Police believe foul play is a possibility, but his death will be further investigated. But that's not even it with the dead bodies. You won't believe it, but yet another Pokemon Go player has stumbled into a dead body. This man's body was recovered the same past Thursday afternoon from a small stream behind the New Hampshire Holocaust Memorial in Nashua after it was spotted by someone playing the game. The game led the player to a rather obscure spot where he found the body. As of right now, the police don't believe that foul play was involved. The police are, however, becoming more and more grateful for the discoveries that the app is leading to. In fact, some police forces are already using the app to lure fugitives to certain locations. Now, I can't necessarily verify if this last one is 100% true or not, but this one comes from a Redditor named SD Scalisk, who made a post which has since been deleted, sharing something really scary that happened to him while playing Pokemon Go. The Redditor stated that he's 13 years old and that a really creepy couple moved in across the street from him a couple who could always be heard arguing within a certain radius from their house. The man would always sit on his stoop and watch the kid playing Pokemon Go around the block. One late night, close to midnight, he was playing the game doing his usual laps around the block when he noticed one of the Pokestops on the block, which happened to be a church, had a lure enabled on it. When he stepped in front of the church, he could see the man from across the street hiding behind one of the church pillars. He simply kept walking, pretending like he didn't notice, and got home safely. This was posted only a couple days ago and has had no updates since. This whole story can very easily be true, as the app can in a sense be a predator's dream come true. A lot of players are on the younger side, and certain adults may familiarize themselves with the app in order to lure children into quieter areas. Dude, so if so you play the game, I take know. the loading screen a little seriously, because believe it or not, there has not been a single day since the game's release without news websites reporting armed robberies or even dead body discoveries linked to the game. But hey, you gotta catch them all, right? Damn right. Sorry, police in the background just going crazy with the 
the cupboard. She's yeah. just trying to get inside of it. God damn it, Chloe, just calm down. No, um, Pokemon Go is dead nowadays, that's for sure. Yeah, well, I mean, I loved playing it, and I don't know, because it was just fun for me. Like, because you and I never really got out, so I was like, this you know, it. we should start playing it together. And then John gave up, and he quit playing it. Then he started playing it with his friend, like, two times, and he's like, well, I'll play it with you, too. I'm like, you don't want to play it with me, you just won't play it with your friends. And then he gave up after that again, so I was like, yeah. Why even bring that up? That's not yep. the case. You're just trying to make me look like it a terrible is. person. No, it's no, not. No, because we haven't played it. Who, the last... I played it for one week. And it wasn't even a whole week. It was like just three times. You played times. it two separate times with your friend. Two separate times. So two times. That's it. Yeah, but you kept saying, well... That's because I wanted to see what the raids were. They sounded interesting to get legendary Pokemon. And then I seen what I they know. were, and it wasn't... I had fun playing it, it, but it was just because it was fun getting out and, like, walking around and stuff instead of even driving. Like, even driving around, it was fun. But yeah, it was really to... fun when it first came out, and then they ruined it. Yeah, we used to go to... um a lake that we really like and we used to walk around it and play it and then um we just drive to different cities just to like get because in the city we live in there's there's a lot of pokestops but there's not like tons because we don't live in a big city you gotta go to a metro yeah so we went to like two three really big cities and we played it but it's hard to get them all because it, there's so much traffic that you kind of have to go fast and it's like ugh. but yeah i don't know it can be fun but it's kind of it, somewhat dead now i think yeah it just got boring and they switched it from actually finding the pokemon to just going to the stop that they were at that's when they ruined it yeah they did they totally <laughs> ruined it it was fun up until that yeah you'd have to get out and then just say how many steps away they were and you're like oh my god where is it and then yeah nope it's just right here oh everybody Dumb. can get it then Anyway, guys, go check out the channel. It is Mr. Nightmare. Link will be down below, and peace out. Bye.